Marhaba, hi, hello. I am Amir, but you already know me. Um, I, I'm going to be your personal instructor and I will teach you how to speak and understand and read and write Arabic. Uh, we are starting now a great journey and I am really excited. I hope that you are too. Uh, the best way to start learning Arabic is with the greetings which are very important in our culture. As you can see down here you have the book which uh, includes all the words, all the sentences that I say. Everything is translated so you will always feel safe and understand whatever I say. Okay? Uh, our students always ask me uh, they ask uh, how long will it take until I speak and start to speak Arabic. Well, in this program, it's really, it's really up, up to you. It's up to you because you can watch me and the lesson again and again and read the book, read the words, read the sentences. I wish you good luck and let's start. Greetings, okay? The first and the best is Marhaba. When I walk in the street in Cairo, in Amman, Jordan or Baghdad or wherever in Jerusalem or Quds and I see I meet someone I want to speak with someone I want to approach I will say marhaba marhaba say it with me marhaba again marhaba it's also good in the in the in, in, in the on the phone marhaba okay and then there's a uh, Ahlin. Ahlin is, is popular now. It's good when you meet someone. It's good when you approach someone. And even, even good when you, go, when you visit someone and they will say to you, Ahla wa sahla, means welcome. And you will say, Ahlin. Say it with me. Ahlin. Again. Ahlin. Okay, Helen is like, hi, hello. Uh, the next greeting is, Assalamu alaikum. Say it with me. Assalamu alaikum. Salam means peace. Alaikum on you. So it's great. You say, Assalamu alaikum. It's like, I come with peace. Assalamu alaikum. As Assalamu alaikum, and it's great because you can use it when you meet someone, when you enter a place or even a taxi, and also as a goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. Again, assalamu alaikum. Okay, we use it a lot. Assalamu alaikum. And the answer would be, alaikum assalam. See the opposite. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. On you. Peace. It's like giving back. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Alaikum assalam. Okay? So now we have uh, two good greetings if we enter some place or we meet someone. We can say marhaba, marhaba, and we can say assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. And the answer will always be good to use ahlin. So let's try it. I will say assalamu alaikum and you will answer. Assalamu alaikum, ahlin, or wa alaikum assalam. Again, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Marhaba. Ahlin. Marhaba. Ahlin. Again, Marhaba. Ahlin. Great. Politeness. Some words of politeness. Okay. I want to ask someone, I want to approach someone, I want to ask for help or just ask someone about his name or anything, 
I will ask his permission to speak with him. So I will say, لو سمحت لو سمحت لو سمحت لو سمحت and if it's a, if it's not a he it's a she because in Arabic we have a difference between male and female in the uh, language so we'll say لو سمحتي لو سمحتي so for male لو سمحت for female لو سمحتي لو سمحتي again لو سمحتي okay uh, introduction أنا عامر أنا is me أي أنا عامر أنا عامر أنت أو أنت means you أنت أمير أنا عامر أنت Amir. Amir is a great name because it means a prince. That's a name. So, Ana Amir, who inta Amir. Okay? My name. Ismi. Ismi, my name. Ismi. Not Ismi. Ismi. Ismi, my name. Ismi Amir. Ismi Am. Your name? Ismak. Ismak Amir. Ismak Amir. Okay? So, Ismi Ahmad. My name is Ahmad. Ismi Ahmad. How do I say what? In Egypt, we say A. A. By the way, uh, the Egyptian dialect is the best because everybody understands it. Everybody, all over the world, of course, all over the Arabic world, everybody understands the Egyptian dialect because the movies, the books, everything. So it's the best dialect to learn, the Egyptian dialect. You are sure that wherever you'll go, People will understand you and you will, able, you will be able to speak. Okay? So let's go back to the program and look at the words. A. A. Say it with me. A means what? A. Okay? Like, what is your name? Ismak. A. Ismak, your name. Ismak. A. Ismak. A. Ismak. A. If someone told me my na his name, I would, I, I would, I want to say that I am honored to meet him. So I would say, "Itcharafna, itcharafna." Again, "Itcharafna." Okay. Let's uh, learn some sentences of familiarity and politeness. Okay. مرحبا اسمك ايه اجي مرحبا اسمك ايه لو سمحت اسمك ايه لو سمحت اسمك ايه انت من فين انت من فين أنا من أمريكا. Again. أنا من أمريكا. أنت مصري؟ Listen to the question. أنت مصري؟ أنت مصري؟ أنت يا مدام أنت مصرية؟ If it's a man, you will say مصري. If it's a woman, you will say مصرية مصري مصرية Egyptian for a man مصري for a lady مصرية أنت مصري أنت مصرية Great 
How do we say yes? We say aywa. Aywa. And no? La. La. How do we ask how are you? Izayak. Again. Izayak. Izayak. Again. Izayak. And the answer? Ana mabsut. Ana mabsut. I'm good. I'm happy. Ana mabsut. And if I'm a girl, I will say ana mabsuta. Mabsut for a man. Mabsuta for a woman. Okay. How do we say goodbye? We can say ma'assalami. Ma'assalami. Again, ma'assalami. And sometimes we'll say ila liqa means to the next meeting. Ila liqa till we meet again. So ma'assalami ila liqa. Or oh, in the opposite. Illa liqa, ma'assalami. One is enough. You can say ma'assalami or oh, illa liqa. But you can also say both of them. Uh, let's let's, uh, let's uh, um, practice some new words, okay? Hello. Hello. في في ما فيش مشكلة ما فيش مشكلة there's no problem ما فيش مشكلة again ما فيش مشكلة كمان كمان مطعم Matam restaurant. Matam again. Matam. Mumtaz. It's a good word. Mumtaz. Mumtaz. Wonderful. Great. Good. Mumtaz. How do you say thank you? Shukran. 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 R. Shukran. How do we say if we ask someone for the price and we don't say, oh, it's a lot. We say, da kitir. Da means this. Da kitir. This is a lot. Da kitir. Da kitir. Da kitir. And when we want to ask a permission, we say, mumkin. Mumkin. Is it okay? Mumkin? And if it's not, Mish Mumkin. Mish Mumkin. Mish Mumkin. Not allowed or it's not possible. Mish Mumkin. The last uh, thing that we are going to uh, deal with in this lesson, but I hope that you enjoy it like me, is coffee. Because coffee is important for us. And we drink coffee a lot. And the most important thing to know is that when you ask for coffee, ahwe, ahwe, we prepare the coffee with or without the sugar. And we drink it in the finjan. Finjan. It's small sometimes, it's bigger. Finjan. So the finjan is the, the, is the cup that we drink the coffee and we make the coffee with or without sugar. So when you ask, you ask for coffee, you have to say with sugar or without sugar. So we say, matalan, uh, we can say, ahwe wasat. Ahwe wasat. Ahwe wasat. Wasat means middle. So it's with sugar, but not too much. So ahwe wasat. So you don't wait until the, the, uh, the waiter will ask you. You just say, eh, Mumkin, possible, Mumkin, Ahwa, Wasat. Say it with me. Mumkin, Ahwe, 
وسط ممكن it's possible so ممكن قهوة وسط but if you do, if you drink your coffee without sugar you will say قهوة بدون قهوة بدون without so you just say uh, ممكن قهوة وسط و قهوة بدون و means and so ممكن قهوة وسط و قهوة بدون you know what one in Arabic is واحد 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 so I can say واحد وسط و واحد بدون means one with and one without and he will never ask you what do you need or what do you want because everybody knows that when you say wasat you means coffee with sugar when we say bidun it means coffee without sugar so wahad wahad wasat wahad bidun that's all for this lesson I really enjoyed and I hope that we'll meet again in uh, the LD1 program. Uh, until then, مع السلامة و إلى اللقاء.